you you were born in the water the waters across from Brooklyn in in the Bronx um, because your parents had had gone over there when um, when was this was the 80s the in the night? 80s yeah yeah there was a really bad recession in Ireland at that time and so a lot of people left a lot of young uh, people left a lot of couples and um, dad went over ahead of time with a friend of his and my mom and their friend's girlfriend followed over um, a couple months later when they had kind of set everything up. Initially that that was the main kind of connection for me and um, it was my first proper Irish project it was my first project that you know centered around an Irish character and so it was really important for me to find uh, the first Irish role to play that kind of I was really passionate about obviously and and was something that I really connected to and this just came along at the right time and initially I think you know the personal connection obviously came with the fact that mom and dad had moved over there and uh, I was born over in, in the Bronx and they had gotten married in City Hall and you know there were so many similarities. Then about a year later by the time you know Finola and Amanda got the money together and, and we were all ready to make the film um, I had moved away. I had moved away about eight months before that and so homesickness was something that as we all know, you don't get over in a couple of weeks. Um, and I was still, I still am probably very much going through uh, homesickness and kind of the grief that you feel when, when you leave home for the first time. Um, and yeah, and it just meant that it was an incredibly personal uh, project to be involved in. As I said before, this film came at, at the perfect time for me personally where I had gone through so many changes in that year from when I had signed on to the film to when we actually made it in my own life. Um, and I hadn't really had that before. You know, I grew up. So, John, you got you got more out of your leading lady in terms of life experience when, when you started than when you when you hired her? Saoirse's work spoke for itself. Um, but it, it felt like the perfect opportunity for her to sort of show a full range of what she could do. And also a, a performance which would take her from sort of a young, young girl to a young woman within one film. Um, but yeah, life thankfully intervened and gave her all the, the ammunition that she needed to actually knock it out of the park day after day. The little things that happen add up to, to so much. I mean, what's, what's the challenge in writing that? Most of us move. Most of us experience that homesickness. We don't all move countries, but in this country, people move from one side of the country to another routinely, and, and, it, and it doesn't really matter. Once you've left your hometown, then life has changed forever, and you can never quite shake it back to how it was. So um, <clears throat> I could feel that there was this universal story in there, and if we could kind of amp it up a little bit, turn, turn the volume up, because it's a very quiet book. If we could turn the volume up on the movie, then um, I thought maybe it could really mess people up. <laughs>